Raglan, it was a strong link in the chain of events which moved the hostile Indians from Alabama, opening this area to new settlers, and saw Andrew Jackson on his way to fame and the White House. On the Coosa River, Neely Henry Dam near Raglan and the Logan Martin Dam near Pell City furnish electric power as well as recreation for St. Clair County and the surrounding area. The O'Donnell Mill in Show Creek Valley. This mill was used to grind corn into mill. It was no easy task to build a turbine or water wheel to catch the force of the water. The men who could accomplish this were creative artisans. The mill is a part of the St. Clair County Historical Society. Greensport Marina, located on the Coosa River near the original Greensport site. The marina provides a spectacular view of St. Clair County's rich scenic beauty. At one time, the original Greensport site was covered with houses and huge warehouses for storing freight. The Yarber House, located in Beaver Valley. The home is a three-story frame colonial style with square columns. It was built in 1825. It is one of the few houses where descendants of the original homesteaders are living today. Cattle production is a very important part of St. Clair County. Also note the mountain range behind the Yarbor home. The Looney House was built in 1820. It is likely the oldest two-story log dog trot house in the state. It was built in Lower Beaver Valley by John Looney and his son Henry, who was the, with Andrew Jackson's Volunteer Tennessee Army during the Crete War of 1813 and 14. The house is open on Saturday and Sunday from 1 until 5 p.m. It is on the National Register. This is the St. Clair County Courthouse in Asheville. This courthouse was erected in 1844 by Littleton Yarber, a brick which was molded and fired on the square where the building stands. St. Clair County was officially established in November 1818, one year before the state of Alabama was established. St. Clair County is surrounded by two excellent interstate systems, I-59 and I-20. This house is known as the John W. Enzer Home. It was built in 1852 by an early settler named Moses Dean. Mr. Dean was one of Asheville's first merchants. The Bothwell Embry Campbell House located in Asheville. Dr. Bothwell brought his family to Asheville in 1834. Note the overhanging balcony and double front doors upstairs and down. The Fraser Davis home is one of the oldest houses in Asheville. It was started as a log cabin in 1831 by a young Baptist minister, Jesse Collins. It had several owners. The Cason Tipton house is an example of West Indian architecture. Dr. Davis Cason, a Confederate veteran, came to Asheville soon after the Civil War and built the house. It is in excellent repair and is rented by three attractive shops. The Beeson House was built in 1840 by Curtis Grubb Beeson, son of Captain Edwin Beeson, a Revolutionary War veteran who later fought with Andrew Jackson against the Creek Indians. You can see Chandler Mountain in the background. The Union United Methodist Church, the original church, was built of logs on land owned by Curtis Grubb Beeson. His son, Spruill Beeson, deeded the property to Methodist Episcopal Church in 1880. The present building was erected in 1919.
Horse Pins 40, located on Chandler Mountain, got its name during the Civil War when people in the valley sent their horses up through a narrow gap to hide them from the Yankee Raiders. The 40-acre mountaintop contains numerous natural rock formations, some higher than a two-story building. Horse Pins 40 is a gathering place for southern Fort Lore. They bring together folks who enjoy mountain traditions of food, music, art, and crafts. This is a view off of Chandler Mountain. You can see forest and farmland. You can also see the road leading to Camp Sematanga. There's around 1,500 acres of tomatoes grown on Chandler Mountain. This is the largest tomato growing area in Alabama. This is cover crops on some of the tomato fields. Welcome to Old Legion Town, a bit of the Old West. Legion Town is located near Whitney Junction, north of Asheville. It's a recreated Old Western town from 1860s period. The town was designed by the now deceased Carney Walker, an Alabama native who spent 12 years out west as a set builder for western films. Legion Town was built as a project of the American Legion Post 170 of Asheville in 1981. In 1983, the original town was destroyed by arsonist and later rebuilt. It has been the setting for festivals and craft fairs. The facilities has a museum and a full hookup for 24 unit in the campground. St. Clair Correctional Facility is located at St. Clair Springs. It was built in 1984. This is the Rogers home. It is in St. Clair Springs. The Fort Wiley home is located at St. Clair Springs. It was built in 1848. During the 19th century, St. Clair Springs was a famous watering place. This is Springville. Springville is one of St. Clair County's oldest towns. Pioneers who were looking for new home sites often made camp near the fine springs that formed a semicircle around the larger spring and emptied into the bubbling brook. The House of Quilts located in Springville is located in a building that had been a dental office more than a hundred years ago. The building is now the property of Mr. and Mrs. Marcus Sullivan. The shop specializes in homemade quilts. The Emporium in Springville and the streets of Springville. Springville is the site of the Grab Your Bunnet Festival each year. This is Homestead Hollow. A group of enterprising citizens of Springville saw the need of a place for the town to have festivals and special trade days. A place that ties the present with the tradition of the past. 
Homestead Hollow is the name of the heritage place that has become well known throughout the state. Homestead Hollow occupies approximately eight acres of what was once known as the McClendon Plantation. You can see an old cane mill. Syrup making is a part of the annual festivities. Equipment and farm implements used years ago are on display. Homestead Hollow depicts a farm environment of the late 19th century. This is the Liberty Cumberland Presbyterian Church, located near Odenville. It was built about 150 years ago. And we hope that you've enjoyed our historical trip through St. Clair County.